Hey folks, the Desert Artist here. I am here in front of my workshop table and I am working on a new project and it involves an old sewing machine which right here which I have taken apart and taken out everything that was inside of it um, all the parts and those are right in here and up over here and over in here and I've come up with this other part that I thought looked really cool and it is a part that is now missing here it is this was a part to uh, one of those laser lights that shine up on the house uh, part of it went bad and uh, it was this is what it looks like here it's a little lasers in there and it looks like to me it looks like little eyeballs right so and along in here this all this aluminum here is a heat sink for these two little I think they're diodes or capacitors or resistors there was one on the top and there's one on the bottom you can see where it burned out um, so one of the lasers worked and the the other one didn't and I took it apart and was playing with the voltage trying to think that well it's 12 volt I took up the batteries and then put it in the art show with uh, batteries with one light shining or something and I, I don't know the light went out then it went on then it went out and I was like that's kind of unreliable so I'm just going to uh, do something with them just like this um, and I'm going to uh, try to incorporate the the old singer here into it um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet I might use uh, this part as uh, I might do two two or three sculptures out of it I got this part here as a mounting area for something and then I have this I'm going to make this into uh, the body part for the eyes somehow so the eyes will sit up here and they'll be able to move around um, and tilt back and forth after I secure that little eyeball there and then I'm going to use the housing here as um, like a top hat so it will be I have his eyes and then he'll have this top hat on and I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet it's just kind of here temporary um, and then I'm going to maybe use the, the the ground spike here because it's all metal and aluminum as well so I'm going to use the ground spike as maybe a nose for the eyes I don't know uh, I'm, I've got so many parts here to to deal with I've got that drawer there and all those drawers are filled with parts that I can use inside this thing to right now I'm just trying to formulate how to use these sewing machine parts um, and this is a part to an air compressor here it went up and down and drove the piston to put the air in and I'm trying to assimilate all these things together to use um, somehow this is the bottom of the sewing machine here um, this was the stitch depth or something I don't know I've got some sort of screws here that could be like an elbow or a shoulder having two different arms that go back and forth I don't know um, I don't know how I'm going to use a steel plate here um, I've got so many things that I can that I can use here um, that this drawer is full and then this drawer here has got stuff in it and I got more stuff down there uh, so 
right now I just don't really even know what I'm going to be doing but I wanted to uh, kind of show you what it looks like here uh, previous to getting it somewhat put together because I don't want to put it together and then take it apart and show the assembly and bore you all so I've got some inspiration going on here and uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that there's some more stuff that's up and coming I don't know what it's going to look like I don't know what I'm going to do yet I'm just trying to get screws to fit together and <clears throat> bolts that are long enough to put stuff together with you know this is a cabinet drawer lock you know that kind of fit onto a this was a some sort of a doohickey that uh, went in and that little brass thing fits on the end there and it turns and it's got two screw mounting things right there that I might be able to mount something to I don't know I've got this that might be this is a, a vintage circuit board uh, printer uh, printed out thing it's they would take apart these little pieces here and that's what they would do back in the 1960s to solder together the circuit boards uh, before they were printed out like they are now. I might use this as a decoration across a part of the top hat. Um, I don't know, I've got a couple more of these. They're in different kind of shapes. Um, I, I don't know, but I've got some inspiration going on here and I've got a I got to roll with the punches and I'm going to see how it works out. I just took apart uh, a uh, uh, one of those things that keeps the, a meter for the for your playing piano or something. I don't know what it's called, but it it works and it seems to be working with the spring so it keeps going on. Um, I might be able to use that as some sort of a brain type doohickey or something. I, I, I don't know. I've got so many, so many things going through my head. I, I just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what I was doing and uh, how I'm, uh, how I'm doing. I'm getting back on track and I'm doing some more artistic stuff. So this is just a short kind of update of uh, Todd life, I guess. Um, Y'all have a great day. Oh, here's some more parts of the sewing machine that are kind of cool, too. That, uh, I got these two little gears here that, that go together. Because the sewing machine was so old, the actual belt is string that was held, that's held together with like metal staples. I don't know if you can see that. Um, all is a string wound around. I think it's it might be asbestos string. It might be uh, flax. I don't I don't know, but it seems to be oiled a little bit. Um, but I thought that was very cool and steampunky. Um, those look like eyeballs too, so I might incorporate those into the other part that's over over there that. I don't know. I've got until the 14th of February to uh, put something in the art show other than my other two sculptures. So I'm going to see if I can uh, ratchet something out within a month and get it, uh, get it together. Um, so right now this is where I'm at. Just kind of uh, putting stuff together. I've got, uh, so this is, I think I've taken apart three sewing machines. So I've got all parts from all of those. Um, and they're probably in a drawer in a bucket somewhere. Um, anyhow, this is the, uh, the Desert Artist. I'm out of here. You guys have a great day. Thanks for, uh, keeping up with me and thanks for caring about my, uh, my last video with, uh, uh that letter from my mother and my dad leaving everything to the bartender and all that stuff. You know, it's just kind of... It was kind of a hard thing to get over with. I had a couple comments. I even had one dislike on the video that said that she was all sad because she's taking antidepressants and 
didn't want to hear sad stuff during Christmas time. Oh, guess what? I don't want to hear sad stuff from Christmas time either. And that was kind of a sad thing. So, uh, there you go. That's dealing with my mother and my family and reality. Because I'm I'm here. I don't I I don't do nothing fake on on YouTube. It's all my reality, my real life. So I appreciate y'all for subscribing and liking my videos, even leaving comments. As you can see, I. I read all my comments. I try to reply to everything. As long as it goes on, I'm always going to be here replying to the comments. If I don't reply, then it's it's not showing up on my YouTube thing, and that's probably because it's got too many comments. I've had that happen before. Um, you guys all have a great day. Uh, once again, this is Desert Artist. I'm out of here. Y'all be safe. Be careful. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Uh, and Happy New Year.